We all know saving documents is easy. But how about saving in a way that they can also be found effortlessly? Let me show you what I mean. There are several ways of saving information in M-Files. For example, you can start by creating, let's say, a new Word document. Embedded M-Files functionality in the Microsoft Office suite makes saving your documents and everything else fast and easy, since you don't have to be looking for a path and folder for where to put the documents. Instead, you just choose the vault. From there, metadata card will open and you can fill out the relevant information. Another way is locating the document you want to save. And like many functions in M-Files, by right-clicking, you can choose the Add to M-Files option and the desired vault. Or you can simply drag and drop the document into M-Files directly. Again, a new metadata card opens. You can also save several documents at once. Just select the documents and save them by right-clicking or dragging them into M-Files. When saving multiple documents in one go, you don't have to fill the metadata for each document separately, as you're able to choose to use the same values as defaults for the next document. This will save you time and effort. And finally, you can create new documents and other objects directly in M-Files from the Create button. When creating new documents in M-Files, you can choose a template, start with an empty document, or make a copy of an existing document. Can you guess how that is done? Bingo! By right-clicking. When saving in M-Files, it all comes down to one important step. Filling the metadata card. The more relevant information you give, the easier it is for you and your colleagues to later find the documents saved in M-Files. How's that for making document management easy? There are plenty of great things to learn about M-Files, so why don't you head to the next video and I will tell you more about them. See you soon!